Hello, we're back with more Super Mario Bros. X2. The last part we actually completed the invasion, and next we're moving on to the Hurtful Hotlands. And apparently the Hurtful Hotlands is a desert, which I guess makes sense. First stage is called the Hot Boot. I'm gonna play it as Toad. <laughs> and the music is the... What was it? The Shifting Sandland from Super Mario 64. Although it also could have been the uh, Lethal Lava Land from Mario 64. Same music, really. Grab the Fire Flower. Don't want to actually defeat these Shy Guys since they're my... They're my ride across the munchers here. But I do want those coins, though. Ninjis to jump on next. There we go. Pick up the sniff it. Throw it in the water. <laughs> there we go. Throw them in the water just like you were playing uh, Bible Adventures. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Toad. What do we got? These are Podobu shoes. They allow their wearers to walk on lava. Here's the red uh, Podobu shoe. If you watch my intro video on the cast, I, you might remember I actually had this shoe when I showed off Toad. Use fireballs to take out the spinies here. You kind of need the shoe to get across this part since there's no other way to cross. Well, apparently fireballs do work on Pokey. One up from the coins. Now you can stomp enemies like uh, shy guys and stuff with the shoe. I want to keep the Podobu shoe because I'm going to need it for a later level. Up here comes another. Uh oh, that was close. I don't want to take that yet. Grab the ice flower. Stop some more enemies. <laughs> Apparently there's a Venus fire trap that couldn't come out of the pipe because I'd frozen time with the uh, P-switch. There we go, froze that hammer, brother. I don't even have to deal with him, we'll just go. level that looks like a quicksand block called the Desert Maze. Hmm, let's see. I think I'll play it as Mega Man. This level's kind of based on a level that was in uh, Super Mario 3. You'll see what I mean when I get to that part. Grab all the coins that came out of the block there. There's an ice flower, which will give me the ice wall. Which is Cold Man's weapon for Mega Man and base, I think. Although, in this game, it just shoots out blocks of ice. those guys. There's a Kuribo shoe. Although it was an egg that would have contained a red Yoshi if I were playing a character that can ride Yoshi. I, I couldn't duck. <laughs> oh well. I wasn't supposed to go down there anyway. Be careful around there. I think there's a bit of a glitch or something when it comes to the that little ramp there where you can fall in it. Alright, 
not even a charged Mega Buster shot can take out the Fire Snake heads here, so we'll just avoid them. There's a power up up here, looks like it. Maybe I can refuel the cold wall. Or the ice wall. Yeah, because Mega Man's gun doesn't do anything to him. Oh, I get another shoe. That'll work. I can stomp him with this. <laughs> Go ahead and grab the uh, coins here. Can I go on the pipe? I cannot. There's a toad over here. Let's see, do you have anything to eat? I've been lost in here for days. <laughs> interrupted by a phone call from some automated thing. But again, this isn't about my problems, it's about getting through this desert as Mega Man riding a green shoe. <laughs> Take this, of course. Come on, faster. Take that. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. That's fine. We'll just slide. It's faster than just running. <laughs> Can I go up here, or is this a dead end, too? I think I gotta go back this way and then go up. Here's where Mega Man might be at a disadvantage. None of my weapons can take out the fire snakes, and Mega Man can't do the spin jump, which does work against them. You can just bounce off them. Maybe this is a power up I can use against them. Atomic fire? It does work on them, nice. Although this still isn't the way to go. Try up here. Nope, oh, that's a dead end. I think I have to go back to where I found the Kuribo shoe. Really? There we go. <laughs> like, I know for a fact I could jump up there because I did it before. Mega Man, for some reason, appears to get more height when running before jumping in this game. Even though that's not how he functions in the Mega Man games. <laughs> that's fine. Now I'm out of atomic fire, so I can't deal with the, uh, the fire snakes, but we're out of the maze, so we're good there. Watch out. <laughs> there we go. I took his wings off so he can't fly out of the quicksand. Go down this pipe. And there's the exit. There, this is the stage where I need the uh, Podobu shoe, so I'll switch back to Toad. The Pyramid of Fail. Go down here. <laughs> There's one of the uh, piranha pumpkin plants from Super Mario World. Go ahead and take it out with the ice flower. There's a swooper from Mario World. Let's avoid it. And the blargs. Which I can't freeze, even with the ice flower. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the pumpkin plant. There we go. <laughs> Luckily, the Podobu shoe can cross on the lava, so... Missing the skull raft isn't a big deal. I just have to be very careful not to get take a hit and lose it. Because I'm going to need it to get a, to the alternate exit here. We'll grab the super leaf. There's a dino rhino from Mario World. I got a duck here to avoid touching the lava ceiling. The Podobu shoe won't protect me from that. Avoid the Blarg. There we go. I can stomp on its head with the shoe on. 
And normally the pipe is where you go down, but we're gonna go this way, across the lava. Here we find a tanuki suit. You'll see there's a star up there, too. I think I gotta do a running start, jump, and then float. There we go. There's like hidden, invisible platforms here. I gotta find them and not fall in the gap like I just did. Alright, I went back to the hot boot, got myself another Podobu shoe, and have come back to where I fell in the invisible gap. Let's grab the Tanuki suit. Careful not to touch the lava ceiling. Ah, I hate that because you can't see where to go. I don't know why they made that part invisible. Alright, let's try this again. This time is Peach, since I know with Peach I can use the hovering to try and get over the invisible gaps. And I think this is like the most unfair to get, try and get Star in the game. Again, because you cannot see the gaps that you can fall in and lose a life, which I did again. Remember, every time I lose a life on that invisible hole, I have to go back and get the uh, Podobu shoe again. This game doesn't give you the option to exit a level like you can in uh, Mushroom Kingdom Fusion. See, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to use the uh, ice balls to figure out where the gaps are. Alright, there's one there. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> right, do I just jump to the left? Is that gonna work? There, I made it. There we go, I got the most unfair to collect star in the entire game, the fifth star. <laughs> the nice thing is, the fifth star will unlock the vault in the star palace, so I can use that to power up all my characters. You might remember I went into this room previously, now that's open and available to me. I think I'll grab the Tanuki suit that I skipped over so I could use the ice balls to try and navigate the invisible lava pit. And then we'll head back to where we were. And funny enough, I'm still not done with the Pyramid of Fail. I still have to go through the regular exit. Luckily, the regular exit isn't that tough. I just go back in here. Grab some coins. The super can just go right on by. There we go. Basically, the normal exit is just that pipe right before the area where you need the Podobu shoe to cross to get to the star. Oh boy. There we go. <laughs> I made it. Yeah, I don't have the Podobu shoe to protect me from the blargs or the lava this time. Should be a mushroom in one of these. I think it's in this one. There it is. Give me that mushroom. <laughs> oh, apparently you can't stomp the dino rhinos in this game. Oh well. Originally in Mario World you could stomp the dino rhinos and they would become dino torches. The little ones that breathe fire. Duck down to avoid the lava ceiling there. Jump over the blarg. Spin jump to avoid that blarg. Then we just go down the pipe. Then we enter this area where we gotta fall down. Then we get this raft. We have to ride it to the side. Jump into the pipe. And we're out. Next stage is the Pyramid Action Machine. I'm gonna try it a snake. We got some 
rupees to collect. Here comes a bob bomb that can detect me. There we go, just punch it out. Oh, another one spawned. Let the bob bombs blow up. Alright, we're just gonna run for it now. Oh boy. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. I wanna get a running start for when these guys come out. Bounce on the paratrooper. Oh boy. Run away from that. <laughs> There's another paratrooper over there. I gotta jump when the piranha plant's down so I can make it. Ah. <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> Back to Toad. flower up here, which would have been a dark gun for Snake, which would have helped, but I couldn't get to it because he couldn't jump high enough to reach it. Not without the athletic suit. Grab the bob bomb. I guess not. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I thought it would. Hammer Brother here. There's another Karibo shoe. I think I can use the Koopa shells from the flying ones here to break all the blocks. I think this level is also based on one from Mario 3. Oops. <laughs> I know I can get under there. There we go. I know there's like a vine or something hidden in one of these. Maybe it's over here? Right, take out the hammer brother with the ice flower. Get out and throw him. Alright, there's a pipe up here. I'm guessing that leads to where I want to go. Here we are. There's a purple Yoshi. A fire flower. And a super leaf. Pretty sure there is a place in the clouds. I think if I jump out of the shoe and fly, I can find it. Okay, that's where the P-switch was. There's where the pipe is. Hmm, maybe I'm wrong. Grab the shell here. And we'll, Just kick it normally. There we go. Now just let the shell do its thing. The funny thing is, you can stick around in that part and it'll get you one-ups. I lost the, uh, the Super Leaf trying to hit that Hammer Brother with it. Alright, this is the room I'm thinking of. Oops, <laughs> there he goes. I was gonna use him to blast through the wall here and I bumped into this one. Okay, don't pick it up. Let's use this one to blast right there. There we go, perfect. Get the vine and climb up. Got another switch here. Run across this way. Take out the big Koopa and the big Goombas. <laughs> This area's got a whole bunch of coins, as well as a 1-up, 
I think there's a power-up of some kind in the big block up there. I'm gonna get a lot of coins to come out of this one. There we go, got all the coins there. There's a Tanuki suit, which I'm gonna want. Alright, throw away that shell and get ready to run. And we'll just fly back across. Get another one up from the coins. Drop back down here. Use the ninjis to cross. There we go. Use the statue to avoid the hammers. That didn't work. <laughs> I was trying to hit him with the tail and somehow it didn't. Go ahead and clear that level. Next is the Sandy Ghosty Hammer Town. <laughs> Got the uh, Revenge of Meta Knight theme playing again. Really want that. There we go. Oh, looks like we're using the Hammer Brothers again. <laughs> I can go down this pipe. I can keep the hammer brother with me when I go down the pipe. What's in here anyway? Well, there's a leaf and a one up. Take him. I get jumped up in the one that's dumping out water. <laughs> Hammers work on the booze, so you don't have to worry too much about them. Jump up. Take out all these enemies. <laughs> That's a lot of boo. Take that. Another super leaf. Toad can double jump with the leaf. As well as float down. Oh, I lost uh, the leaf and the hammer brother. Get away. There we go. Now I got a new hammer brother. Luckily, every blue, uh, grass pole thing has a new hammer brother to, to use. There we go. I'm done with you. Oh, maybe I'm not. Just grab a new one. Oh, okay. Take the boo enemies are coming out of those pipes. Well, he didn't stop me. Keep going. <laughs> No, this stage isn't as tough as the first level that did this, but it's definitely longer. There goes that one. Grab a new one. <laughs> and run to the level. Airship here. This one's called the Invasion 2, which is the name of the uh, Mario X2 campaign I'm doing. Let's head in. <laughs> There's the Star Fox music again. Right, this time, instead of getting a ride, it looks like I'm going my own way. I guess taking out that big guy was the uh, goal. Got another one of these. Throw the bomb at the Hammer Brother. <laughs> oh, look out. Pick up the bob bomb and throw it at the Hammer Brother. Perfect. There you go. Now I gotta take out the Shy Guy here. Blow him up and that'll destroy the airship. There's a pipe there that's dumping off a bunch more uh, bob bombs. But I just got a super leaf, so I should be able to fly up. <laughs> okay, I guess I can't go up this way. Good to know. Okay, I gotta fight a big shy guy here. Gotta get my hands on one of these uh, bob bombs and try to. 
Come on, get over here. I gotta throw it at him. There we go. Now we win. Watch out for the bullet bills and all the other enemies that are running around. There we go. Jump across. <laughs> Bombs are much more useful in this mission. Jump over. There we go. Oh, look out. <laughs> Whoa, look out again. Gotta watch out for all the bullet bills that are flying around. Got him. Another one. Oh, missed. Another bomb. There we go. The boss here is Birdo from Mario 2. Boss music is the, from Mario 2. Just gotta defeat Birdo the same way we always do. Grab the eggs and throw them back at her. Yep. Give, give me an egg. There we go. Throw it at ya. There we go. Three throws and I win. And that's it for the Hotlands. We managed to get through there. The next part will go to the Rawest Forest. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.